Hello, and welcome to this tutorial about creating narrowband master luminance. I found this example of this tutorial on uh, Google by searching Astro Anarchy Tone Mapping. Uh, we're not going to be covering tone mapping completely today, but one part of it is the master luminance, and I found that uh, this is a very good uh, example of how to create a, a, a master luminance. So just do a search and, and look up the tone map. You take the time and, and read that if you ha if you can, and then also uh, you'll need one other tool to do this uh, example here today. Is you'll need the uh, star removing action, and if you do astro anarchy star removing, you'll come up with this astro anarchy new version of Photoshop star action. This is what you want to download and install. So let's get into the uh, the Photoshop part of it right now. This is an image I have uh, of uh, an S2 layer, and as you can see, it has all the, s the stars in it. And this uh, toolkit that we uh, download and install is called Star Removing, and we're going to click the uh, the Star Remove one on there, and click the play to play that action. Now, what it will do is it'll go through its steps, and it will remove all the the stars. It'll remove a good majority of them, but it won't remove every single one of them. It'll make a brand new copy called Starless over the top of it here. So as you can see, it did a real good job of removing the stars, but you'll also see that there's still some very large stars left, and you have to manually go through it and remove those stars. Now, on the Astro Anarchy's website, uh, in, the, in that version, they talk about using the uh, uh, the clone tool. Uh, I don't recommend using the clone tool. I prefer using the uh, healing brush tool. So select that tool and then find an area where there's some uh, black space in there, hold the alt key down make a left mouse click and then you can see it kinda like uh, goes over your, over your star and it'll, it will uh, heal that up so let's hold the left mouse button and just kinda paint it over it and there it's gone and you're gonna have to spend some time on this you might spend 30 40 minutes you know brushing out uh, these areas that have these bright stars but it's well worth it take your time get it done and make sure you have a starless image so let's go back to our original image which was the uh, the S2 and here's the S2 uh, here that has all the stars in it and it looks like my uh, starless version disappeared now let me see if I can open it um, S2 starless there it is okay let's open that up just a second here. Sorry, non-scripted run here. So I tried to get everything up, but it didn't didn't come up all the way. But as you can see, uh, there's the starless version of the S2, and it got rid of everything that uh, that we had there. Plus, I did a little bit more uh, stretching on the the curves and the levels and brought it out a little better. Uh, now let's go into um, this version that we have, the starless version. Let's I'm hit Control A and copy it. Control C, copy it, and we're going to want to paste that on top of our our master. We'll call it the HA layer here, the HA layer. I'm going to Control V and paste it over the top there. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the blend mode, make it screen, and bring the opacity down to about 15 percent. Okay. So you can, I don't know if you can see this or not, but there is a little bit of a difference here and what this will do is it'll help bring out some of the uh, the missing you know uh, nebula that you might have inside there if you just use the aha as uh, the master illuminance so now I'm gonna go into um, I'll only do this first here let me label this as uh, S2 so I know which layer we put in there and then we'll go into the, uh, the, the O3 layer and do the same thing, control A, copy, control C and go back into the the HA layer and control V, paste over the top of it take the blending mode, uh, take it to screen and bring down the opacity to about 15 percent okay and there we have a, a, a more balanced luminous frame with uh, blending in these other channels. A lot of people just use the uh, the HA channel as their master luminance. Now, after I did some more stretching and 
you know, uh, working with this luminance master frame, you can see that I added more contrast to it and uh, brought out some more of the details. Of course, you can do that with your, your master luminance, too. Remember to take your time on your master luminance. This is what makes the whole image pop, and, and it's really important that you uh, make this one of your best frames that you can possibly make. Uh, just as an example here, here's the, the completed image of this uh, example we did in our tutorial. One last thing I'd like to remind you about is that uh, to visit myastroimages.com, uh, take one of your winning or one of your uh, astro images and enter one of the monthly contests to enter for a quarterly final to win a coffee mug. Thanks for watching this tutorial and I hope you have success with this. Thank you.